everyone, it's Holly Henry here with Speedway 360. I've got some of my favorite drivers. As you guys know, I pick my drivers, I pick my questions, and I picked Bill and Lena Miller. They're brother and sister, and they've been racing for quite a while. Uh, Bill races with us a bunch in the Modified, so I'm gonna start my first question there. Bill, how long have you been driving, and then how long have you been in a Modified? Started racing in 1973. Been in a modified 12 years now, 11 years, something like that. Well, that's a, that's a good chunk of time. I, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> Get it, Bill. Uh, Lena, how about you? When, when did you start racing and what class are you in? Um, same, I started racing in 73. We actually lived in Virginia and we both ran go-karts in Virginia. And I have driven every class out here except a sport mod and i am currently driving a hobby stock and i have been in the hobby stock for not even a year yet wow what's been your uh, favorite class since you've got to try a few well it was street stocks it was when it was just a local rule street stock class which is now the stock cars that was my favorite class and bill what's been your favorite class so far oh the modifieds by far yeah. uh running them is the wildest thing there is. <laughs> I would, I'd have to agree with that. Um, you, you get to play around a lot with suspension and, and different components. Um, now, are you on a crate or an open motor, Bill? I'm on a crate, finally. <laughs> I know, it's that, so you, if you hold on to that open as long as you can, and then once you finally get that crate, it's like, here we go. Um, other than the motor change, what else on your car as far as setup has been, just that like wake up for the car? Because you've been, you've been doing really well this season. I don't know if you guys have been watching from home, but he's been finishing up front. He's really getting that new car in there. So what's been your favorite um, setup or component change other than the motor? A new car <laughs> with new parts on it instead yeah. of somebody's wore out stuff that I buy and try to make work and just a brand new car with brand new parts on it. You just, uh, you just got a uh, brand new car this year. What chassis are you running? It's a 2015 Shaw. Heck yeah, I love them Shaw cars. I'm not gonna lie about that. And Lena, how about you? Uh, what's been that just that wake up component change in your uh, driving career? Or has there been anything that just really, you felt like brought the car alive? Honestly, uh, we've kind of battled with this car. It's a Nova and it's a leaf spring car and we've kind of tried a lot of different things. I mean, honestly, I was out of racing for six years. So I really think just seat time is what helped me a lot. Yeah, seat time, seat time makes a huge difference. Now, you guys have been, um, I'm actually from Maryland, so I, I love that you guys started in Virginia. That's, that's a great part of the country to be from, if I say so myself. Um, have you guys ever uh, raced in the same class, and do you guys ever get competitive with one another? We did. Uh, my first year running a modified, we were racing at Prescott Valley, and he of course I was being lapped every race, but he would like try to tiptoe around me and he would hit me every time. And somebody told him, just drive around her, drive around her like she's, you know, as some, no, just another guy out there. And then he quit doing it. But we ran together in the Modifieds in Prescott Valley at an Imperial. And then we ran street stocks together here uh, when they first opened up in, I think it was 2011. We ran street stock, or 09, we ran street stocks here for about a year. That's awesome to be on the track together as, as brother and sister. And Bill, whenever you're watching your sister race, if someone, you know, races her a little dirty or bumps into her, does that just like flare up that instinct in you or are you just like? <laughs> no, racing. because I know that it's racing and I know that if it's uh, that bad, she'll kick their ass. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> She's one tough cookie, that's for sure. <laughs> I've only had one time that I was worried she hit the uh, exit down here, and that scared me. But that's been the only time. Do you guys um, ever infield for each other? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still, I mean, I'm, you know, also selling fuel at the track, but uh, every time the, they go down for his hot pits, I go down with them. And how about you, Bill? Do you ever hot pit for Lena? No, because we're up here working on oh, mine, true. but I work on it all week. Yeah. You help get it, all the work that goes, that gets you to the track. We all know that's what wins a race, is everything that, that goes in before in the garage. The week before the race is, you know, the crunch time. Um, who has been, other than each other, who's been really influential and, and helpful in your uh, racing careers? 
uh, have to say dad. Yeah, you know, uh, when we started racing go-karts, you know, my dad was there. He started racing. We were all three racing go-karts. And uh, when I moved here, Bill was racing and... With my dad. Yeah, and then, uh, then I got, uh, at that time it was a factory stock. So we were all three racing. So, you know, we, I mean, we really kind of feed off of each other. Um, I, I couldn't say other than that, that there's anybody in particular, but, you know, we help each other a lot. Yeah, having that family there is, is so crucial. Um, so you were racing with your, your dad all the way up until, uh, how long ago, did you get, how long have you guys been were you racing just three of you? How many years was that? Well, my dad passed away in 07, so he wasn't here when the track reopened. But when this track closed in 2099, oh, wow. we were all three running in the same class. And then... No, you were running in the oh, factories right. and me and I was dad running were factories. running factories. Yeah. Wow. But um, when we went to Imperial, Bill and I kept racing, but... Um, I don't think Dad really stuck with it after Imperial. After Yuma closed in 99, Dad didn't stick with it. That's a long time to be at it, though. My gosh. We were just talking about race car angels uh, uh, with the Altigs, and I'm sure he's your race car angel looking out after you guys, and that's so awesome. And that's one of the reasons I I picked your story is the families and the history of, of racing for that many years is just so cool. My dad was actually, he was cremated, mm-hmm. and my brother took his ashes and during hot laps at Imperial spread his ashes on. Wow. Yeah. That was that was probably a, a sentimental moment. So he he kept racing on. He's not done. Yep. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Bill, you had something to add? Uh, I don't need, our mother has also been oh, yeah. a huge, huge part of racing. If we're not racing here, she's going to a used to go to a race somewhere else all the time. Really? Just to go watch. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, what, two years ago for Mother's Day, she wanted to go watch a race in Phoenix. So we drove up to Phoenix for her Mother's Day. Yeah. My kind of lady, go mama. And uh, we got a little one here. Who, who, am I, uh, who am I speaking with? Are you? I see you at the races all the time. You're always at the kids track helping me out. What's your name, sweetheart? Shelby. <laughs> you're the cutest thing. And I appreciate all your help at the kids track. Every race, you're always out there with the, the flags and always helping me. So it's cool that we have another generation continuing on the racing her brother uh shelby's brother enzo drives one of the little mini dwarfs awesome yeah that's so what we've got almost five six generations right there i mean that's that's the heart and soul of of the racetrack or families like yours and the ones that and bill i know i've seen you out there you race your your butt off you come to barona speedway too and, and race with us and you get that car geared up and you get your help your sister get her car all geared up and you guys just you hit it every single race and that's that dedication and that love and that generational racing it's just it's so cool and I, I appreciate so much you guys taking the time to talk to me and and tell me your story so thank you so much for your time thank you thank, thank you, you for choosing us absolutely you, i've been telling you the whole time I'm like you're on my list <laughs> I'm Holly Henry with Speedway 360. You can catch us on Cocoa TV on YouTube. You can also catch us on the Cocoa Speedway page on Facebook. Thanks for watching, everybody.